DCI equipment. Boy, we got something for you. We have a 2017 Ditchwich JT25 with 784 hours. And we brought this, we cleaned it up because we wanted to show you just how nice this rig really is. So if you come over here and you look at the fiberglass, the fiberglass is in real good shape. I got a couple real small marks here. But if you look at overall, no dents or anything, and the black looks like it's been painted yesterday. The inside of the tracks, we cleaned them up real good to give you an idea. It, it's virtually a brand new machine down here. It's, there's no real issues at all. Don't show any heat marks. Tracks are showing a little bit of wear. They have, it's probably 60, 70% life left, but they shouldn't give you a problem for a, for a good long time. And when we get to the console, it all carries through right to the console. The seat is as clean as it can be. The, uh, the dash, now we leave the remotes out of the machine. So if you buy a remote, you're gonna get it in the dash. If you don't, we'll put a plate over top the console so it won't just be a big hole for you. Now this has the Vermeer style or the dual joystick style option for you. So and that can we could change that over to Ditch Witch if you decide, or single uh, joystick controls, if you decide that that's the option that you want. But a lot of guys find that they like this option a lot on the Ditch Witch machines. The vices, now we haven't done any work to this. This just came into us, but these vices are in great shape how they arrived to us. And that rack and pinion looks about as good as it can. Black paint all the way up and down it. No damage to any of the arms, any of that. Coming around to the front end, there's a little bit of work we're gonna do. The auger has a slight bend in it. We're gonna either replace it or see if we can get that perfectly straight for you. The front end is super common that guys will take the rod guide off here and, and actually not send it to us. So we'll put a new rod guide on there, but that'll all look great when we're done with it. And this rig, there's a couple different options for pipe on this rig, but this rig has the fire stick option for the pipe. And you can see it's still got a lot of black paint on all of them, most of the pipe. Um, it's in real good shape. Looking through again, about the same as it was on the other side. No real hits or dents or any big scratches on any of the rod loader arms or the frame system here. Undercarriage looks real good. Tracks are about the same, 60-70% on this side as well. Now, because this is a low hour rig, you can see the carriage should look this nice. It's all the original paint, nothing's been repainted, really on any part of the machine that I saw. Um, everything looks real, real good. And we're gonna make sure that the water swivel, all that stuff is dry. There's no leaks out of the water pump or any of that. And to top off, off everything, it actually has a wireless driver. That was an option from the factory, so whoever bought this machine decided to take that option. If you know anybody looking for a JT25 or you're looking for a JT25, give us a call. We have this one and we also have another one too uh, that's got 1100 hours. So we got two options. Good luck.